They still working on it. He's putting the walls up. There's my cat. I kept waiting for HOA to come. He worked on those windows a good bit. Getting things ready to paint. I do apologize. Some of the pictures are doubled. I don't know how I did that. I call myself being careful, but it'll be all right. He designed it. Everything about it. There's a lot of father-son time, which I think is just precious. I hope Eli remembers that. Starting the chairs, which makes into a bed. Here comes the first cabinet. We didn't have a whole lot of money, so we did things piece by piece. Cousin Cindy and I, she uh, she made the cushions for the chairs in the bed. Eli picked out the fabric. Those cushions were real, real comfortable. I think she did an excellent job. Of course, everything Cindy does is excellent. Look at there. It worked. There they are. That's right there above the table and chairs. Now they're going to start working on the air conditioner. He'll eventually paint that cabinet back there. And eventually they got a mini split put in. It might not have been this year that this was going on. Of course, you got to have a smoke detector. It's looking good. Got the cabinet painted. As I said, we'll get another cabinet in there. Look at that little freezer. He was so tickled about his little freezer. He wanted a butcher block countertop. I don't think he had to put some oil on it or something like that. I can't quite remember. I 
Got the other cabinet in. And the sink. He got the sink in, too. Look at his tub. It was a cattle water trough. That's what he wanted. There's my cat. I helped him do those that backsplash. There's his little closet for inside the bathroom. Ah, there he's working on the plumbing. I am making curtains. I know, y'all faint and fall out, because I just do not sew, but I made curtains. It was one of those things you had to, because we couldn't buy them. He picked out the the color, and I think they were like blackout curtains. There you go. They're not fancy, but they up there. This is the day in May that he decided to attach to his camper and start his life, his journey. He's still working at the paper, I believe, but he had found an RV spot that was that had a lake, and he was pulling out. We loaded him up with groceries. And, of course, he took his tools and stuff because he still had things to do to it. I may have shed a tear or two. But I was happy for him. What about it? Got it. Still? Still. We noticed his back window was open just a little. He stopped and closed it. We followed him just to make sure everything held together. That's his new that's his new spot. He stayed in that campground for a good long while. It was a nice view. Not bad for a 20-something year old. Not bad at all. He had park rent and all utilities included, so he was happy. I will say eventually he brought it back home years later and remodeled it again. I love that boy of mine. You never know what he's going to do next. Just never know. <laughs>